So I refer to the teaching letter or encyclical from Pope Francis, which calls for an urgent moral response to the scientific reality of global warming, rampant environmental destruction and extreme poverty, and condemns indifference, denialism and obstructionism. Order. Order on both sides. On both sides. Thank you, Senator Waters. Thank you, President. 42 per cent of the Abbott cabinet is Catholic, including the Prime Minister himself, who of course once trained to be a Catholic priest. This government has rolled back our effective on my price right. on carbon pollution. Order. Just a moment, Senator Waters. Order. I think we've hit a sore point, on, President. Just a moment, Senator Can I be allowed to continue at some point? On both sides. Senator, Senator Wish Wilson, do you wish to take a point of order? Let's take a point of order, uh, Senator Chair. Wish Wilson. Mr. President, I'd like Senator Canavan to withdraw that comment. He reflected on Senator Waters. Well, I said, I said, I order, order. I didn't hear what the comment was, but if Senator, Senator Canavan believes he needs to I, withdraw, I did reflect, I'll and I'm happy to withdraw, Mr. Thank President. Thank you, Senator Canavan. <coughs> Senator Waters, would you like to continue with your question and I order on my right? I would very much like to. Thank you, President. Uh, so, no, I'm not, and that's an irrelevant question. My marital status has nothing to do with this chamber. Uh, this government has rolled back our effective price on carbon pollution, and today in the Senate is seeking to slash the clean energy target. The Prime Minister has failed to listen to the scientists. Will he now listen to the leader of his own church and abandon his attacks Th on the you. clean energy target? Thank you, Senator Waters. Before I call Senator Brandis, uh, Senator Waters, it is not in order for you to refer to a senator's religion. Uh, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to rule that portion of the question out of order, uh, which did reflect on other parts of the question. And I'll invite the minister to answer what parts of the question he wishes to, to do so. The acting leader of the government in the Senate, representing the Prime Minister, Senator Brandis. I think Senator Waters for you to reflect upon the religious beliefs of any member of this parliament, whether they be members of the government or they occupy any other office in this parliament, is disgusting. Order. It will be quiet on both sides. On both sides. Order. Senator Waters, a supplementary question. Uh, point of order, actually, point of First order, President, if I may, on relevance, did not seek to refer to the Prime Minister's religious beliefs in a disparaging manner, so merely asserting the facts and asking whether or not they will respond to Pope Francis's encyclical. I would like an answer to that question, please. Well, Senator Waters, uh, under Odgers, it clearly states that it has been held that it is not in order to refer to a senator's religion in debate. Full stop. There's not a qualification to that, so you're not to refer to that. And now, Senator Waters, do you have a supplementary question? Uh, well, just further on that point of order, uh, President, I'm, I'm happy to withdraw that part of the question. I didn't realise it would be so controversial. What I am interested in, in a is a response to the substantive part of the question, which is whether or not this government will now desist its attacks on a clean energy target uh, on the basis of Pope Francis's encyclical. Well, uh, Senator Waters, uh, the primary question has been answered by the minister. Uh, you're now at a point where you can ask a supplementary question. Do you have a supplementary question, Senator? Well, I do, President, but I, I do apologise. I really don't think there was a substantive answer from George Brandis. There was a Senator Brandis. There Order was on my right. outrage and, and a refusal to engage on the substance. I really would like an answer if Senator well, Brandis can Order. share his. Order on my right. Senator Waters. Uh, Senator Brandis was invited to answer what part of the question he wished to, a uh, wished to answer. Uh, and if you bear in mind that your question was out of order in the first instance, uh, I, was think, I think I was generous in allowing him to answer what part he wished to. Uh, you're now at the stage where you can ask a supplementary question, and uh, I'll invite the minister to answer that question. Senator Waters. Thanks, President. Uh, yes, I will. So the Pope has said in that encyclical, which everybody is so uh, up in arms about, that we cannot solve the climate crisis without addressing the interconnect interconnected problem of extreme poverty. Rising seas and more extreme drought will hit the world's poorest the hardest. Does this government still believe that coal is good for humanity? And would they be willing to repeat this directly to the nations of Tuvalu and Kiribati at the Paris negotiations? Minister. Well, Senator Waters, I believe coal is very good for humanity indeed, and it's particularly good for this country because it's our, our cheapest source of energy 
which, ena which enables people who would otherwise enjoy a much lower standard of living than they do to enjoy a higher standard of living with than they do through paying lower electricity prices. Now, Senator Waters, the government is of course aware that there has been a very active debate about climate policy going on around the world for years, if not decades now. And His Holiness the Pope, as the leader of one of the world's largest faiths, is perfectly at liberty to contribute to that debate, and we will, uh, we will consider respectfully what His Holiness has had to say, as we will consider all points of view. Thank you, Minister. Senator Waters, a final supplementary question. Yes, uh, thank you, President, and thank you, Senator, for answering in part my first question. A uh, further supplementary, the Pope's encyclical said, quote, we must regain the conviction that we need one another and that we have a shared responsibility for others and the world. Today, in this building, faith leaders representing Australia's Buddhist, Anglican, Hindu, Muslim, Jewish and Catholic communities have endorsed Pope Francis's call to action. Will the government set its global climate goals in accordance with science or continue to shirk our global responsibilities and continue to be an international climate pariah? Minister. Well, I'll tell you what we will be doing, Senator Waters. We will be setting our priorities and making our policy decisions in accordance with science and good public policy, not in accordance with theology.